Hello friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Hannah and I am so excited to see you here today. You can join us for Storytime every Thursday at noon where we'll read a new story and do an activity. Before we get started, let's sing our Storytime welcome song, just like we do at the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. All right, can you help me out by singing along? We're gonna start at the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now to take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Good job. Can you give yourselves a round of applause? Excellent, excellent work. Thank you so much for singing with me. Now let's get started with today's book called Julian at the Wedding, written and illustrated by Jessica Love. This book has really, really wonderful pictures and it shows a really, really fun celebration. So let's get started. Julian at the Wedding. So let's take a look at what's going on here. We have a few people coming in, huh? This is Julian, and this is Marisol. Today, they are going to be in a wedding. Can you tell that they're wearing their nicest, fanciest clothes? What makes you think that? Those are the brides, and that's their dog, Gloria. You can tell they're the brides because they're both wearing white, but people can really wear whatever they want at their weddings. And here we have Julian and Marisol and Gloria. And what do we think their responsibilities are in this wedding? Hmm? I would say, if I had to guess, Julian has to watch Gloria, and Marisol is maybe the flower girl. Look at her throwing those petals. A wedding is a party for love. Look how beautiful this page is. And we have the brides giving a kiss. Can you blow me a kiss? Thank you. Ooh, and what do we have going on at the wedding? We have empty plates, which means there was some eating and cups for drinking. And we have all sorts of guests chatting. Who's chatting over here? Julian and Marisol, we know them. Oh boy, let's check it out. We have them whispering. They switch their hat. Their flower crown is now on Julian. And look, this says, let's go, whispers Marisol. Do you have a friend that you get into trouble with? Maybe not trouble, just you always, always have some good ideas. Oh boy. Off they go. Can you picture you and your friends running away from your grown-ups over here? Yeah. Ah, it's a fairy house, whispers Julian. Look how beautiful. Do you ever play pretend with your friends? Look at Julian. Oh, he's wearing all the vines like their coat. He has this beautiful flower crown on. He's looking around. Marisol, <gasps> look at 
Marisol. She's playing with Gloria. And look who's here. My own little puppy, Bowie. <laughs> Bowie, can you say hi? send him on his way. Get back to our book. Look at them running and playing in the dirt. How much fun is that? Oh. Uh oh, what happened to Marcel? Uh oh, too much fun in the dirt. Julian has an idea. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. What's he gonna come up with? Let's see. We see him taking off his purple jacket. He's handing Marisol his white shirt. She has a new outfit on and look at him fixing her up with a belt. Now she's all clean. What a good friend Julian is helping her out, isn't that? And very smart, right? Some good thinking on his part. And look what he designed for her. It's almost as if they have wings. Look at them flying. Wow. What special friends they are, hmm? Look who found them. Does that ever happen to you? Are you ever playing pretend with your friend and then a grown up or someone interrupts you? And you snap back into the reality of the situation? I got dirty. Yes, Miha, but now you have wings. What a good grown-up, right? I'm assuming that's her grandma. And what do we think Miha means? If her grandma says, yes, Miha. Typically it means daughter, but it can also mean dear or honey. So it's, it's like she's calling her with a, term, with a kind term, with a nice term of endearment. There you are, says the brides. Look at this page. How much fun are they having? Look at those happy smiles all around. And then there was dancing. I want to point out all the beautiful flowers right here in this bride's hair. Aren't they gorgeous? And of course, we still have the flower crown that stuck with us the whole book, huh? Look how much fun. The end. And the back of the book says, a wedding is a party for love. Thank you so much. Can you give yourselves a round of applause? Did you like that book? I love the pictures. I think it is beautifully illustrated. I love the pictures of the celebration and also the idea of friendship and getting into trouble or maybe have going on adventures with your best friend. Now, let's take a look at a piece from Lynette's collection inspired by all the beautiful flowers throughout the book. This is a bouquet of flowers painted around 1612 by Clara Peters. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that big bouquet of flowers. Let's take a look. What colors do you see? Can you say them out loud? I see red. I see pink. I see blue, yellow, and orange. Did I miss anything else? Good job. It looks so realistic, doesn't it? It's actually a painting. Now, my activity for you is to see if you can find your own flowers and make a bouquet just like Clara Peters painted. 
you can go outside with the permission of your grown-up and see if you can pick some flowers. From there, you can make a bouquet just like I have here, or you can make a flower crown just like Julian and Marisol wore to the wedding. So the way you're gonna make the crown is just take a piece of string and tie knots along it to wear it on your head like this. Beautiful, now you're ready for your big celebration. I hope you have fun finding your flowers. Don't forget to ask permission from your grown up and wash your hands when you come back inside. Have a great day and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.